Yes, this is it. This is it. This is it right here. We are off. Oh my gosh, it's working. Hello and welcome back everybody. My name is Little Corn Dogs, and in today's video, we are making a F-14 Tomcat. Yes, that is the one from Top Gun. But as we get building here, I just want to say it's going to be different. You guys saw the thumbnail and you also saw the title, so clearly you know what's about to happen. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to be all that great and all that exact, but uh, I'm gonna try my best to make this thing look as accurate as possible. So as I'm building this, I'm realizing that uh, every time I make a detailed, detailed airplane or jet or whatever you want to call it, I always do the same nose every single time. Well, okay, like roughly, roughly I do the same nose every time. Now, I know that the original Tomcat has like a two-seater, but uh, just for today's sake, I'm thinking uh, one seater is enough. Making this thing fly and have foldable wings is already going to be extremely hard. So uh, floating on water is going to be even harder. So let's just continue building. Let's keep this thing simple. But you guys saw the thumbnail. So you understand how somewhat realistic this thing looks. So what I'm thinking for the front half and the weird little intakes that it has is that I'm going to use these flat little uh, adapter kind of shield pieces here. So that looks good and I'm just going to get these little wedges, uh, wedge little 2 by one here. And some of you may be complaining that the block optimization is looking, uh, well, not all that great. And I do agree with you there. But trust me, there's a reason why I'm doing this. So let me go ahead and just fill this part in. And then of course with the little top part here, we'll do that too. Now onward to these guys here. So let's go ahead and make them black and make them glass. But if we go here and go to the decals and get this guy and then paint it gray, just like the color we're using and do something like that. Now I guess I don't really need these ones here. I could just kind of copy it and uh, go down like so. Wait, I don't know why they look like that. They look like darker, but I think sometimes the shadows are really weird. All right, well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and move on. I'm going to paint these up as well. So I made them glass. Now I'm going to get a square shape and then just stretch it all the way. All right, well, that's looking cool. The only problem is that on this side, it uh, doesn't have, you know, that, that nice sleek streak going down. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and put a seat here. Now the reason for that is because sometimes it allows me to uh, flip it just like that. Now, if you see if I drag it over here, boom. And then we could just delete, delete that seat there. The copy and paste works great, but unfortunately it doesn't work perfectly all the time. So sometimes I have to put that chair there. Well, let's go ahead and move on. I'm thinking of just continuing on with these little ones going all the way back because I don't think I'm gonna have much room for adding any kind of thrust in here. So anyways, for now, now that that's symmetrical, I think that that's good. Let's also turn this into mirror mode so uh, we can copy the wings on both sides. Now again, same exact shape, the little two by one little slope here. And we're gonna just do the same thing, go back three, and then just go ahead and copy this one and flip it like so. And do the same exact thing again. I'm going to flip it and then uh, go like that. So this is looking really cool. This is looking really good so far. I'm, I'm actually I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, you know this is this is that clean. Okay, I just realized that this has a little bit of an overhang and I don't like that. So I'm going to make it glass, paint it black, go to the decals, do the dotted line or dashed line, whatever that one said, and then I'm going to uh, put this thing on a slope here. Yeah, look at that. And the glass actually, it's almost invisible. It's kind of nice. Cool, I'm liking the shape of this a lot. It's looking real cool, but of course I need to move on. So let me go ahead and just drop that down. I don't know if this is going to look all that great, but we're just gonna leave it there for now. Let's go ahead and copy this and bring it down again, I guess. And then, of course, for aesthetic reasons, let's get a quick little wedge here and start going up so that uh, we get closer to the tail. And then copy this back. And let's make this a little bit thicker for the sides because I have a feeling that uh, I'm gonna need to add thrust in the big old turbine looking things because, you know, this is the intake. And then over here, there will be the turbines. Also, just so we have less of the uh, little yellow exclamation points, I'm gonna put that there. Okay, well that, I guess I cut them in half, but 
we're still not uh, connected yet. So I'm just going to put a block right here. So boom, there we go. Now no more annoyingness. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and bring this back by four. And then let's continue with the easy parts first. You know, I don't really wanna add that swoop wing um, in the front here yet, because that's going to be the hardest part of this entire build, that's for sure. I don't know if it's too big or not, but from the looks of it, um, I think it is a lot bigger than we think, because with those wings swoop back, we want it to line up you know, pretty nice with these uh, really sharp wedges here. Also, I'm just gonna change this to a three because I don't like that overhang that was there. Uh, there we go, that looks good. All right, and then let's do a two and another two, but this one's just a wedge. Let's add the little small fin here in the back. And you know what, just so it's all connected, I'm gonna scoot it over and then add this one here. Add two more, just like that. And you know what, now I'm gonna go ahead and add the thrusters on the back. Well, I mean, at least aesthetically, I'm going to add the thrusters, not the physical uh, pieces themselves. But that spot looks uh, decent. Now I'm looking for that, there we go, rounded corner. This is looking uh, looking kind of interesting, but I'm just gonna go ahead and power through it. I'm just gonna figure out and see uh, whatever works best or looks best, I guess. Unfortunately for the tail fins, I'm gonna have to put a block here and it can't be rounded like this side. You know what, I think that that's okay because honestly, uh, this inside part here is gonna be full with uh, the frame of the airplane, like the middle section anyways, so I think it'll look okay. Speaking of the middle part, let's go ahead and copy this and let's start bringing it back. Now, I don't really, I can't really tell from the photo if uh, this is all that accurate of a tail piece, but you know what? I like the little overhang, but I think I'm gonna need to scoot it back a little bit more because I'm eventually gonna add those uh, little space thrusters on the back. But let me just put uh, this block in here, and then we'll add two of the little small ones on the back as well. Okay, well moving on to the bottom half here, I'm realizing I'm gonna need to scoot these over. And you know what? I really wish that there was a piece where I could do this with it, but of course not have the overhang. If I go like that, it still doesn't really fix the problem because there's just a weird gap here. And I feel like flying and looking at that weird box is just, I don't know, aesthetically, doesn't look right. So I'm just gonna delete that. We're gonna compromise for my uh, OCD brain here and just do something like that. I get it, there's more overhang or not more overhang, but there's still overhang here. It's just not as much. And honestly, from the back that actually it actually looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna continue on with these four by one little slopes again here, but I'm gonna need to continue with this part here as well. Kind of round this off, but I don't really like how this is overhanging. It's just, it's a little too much overhang. So let me go ahead and just fix this part here and uh, round it off. And then we're gonna just scoot this back by one. And look at that, look at that. That looks so good now. No more overhang. Now let's go ahead and just go like this and then we will flip it like so, and boom, look at that. The only problem is when these wings are sweeping back, the reason why I'm leaving this all open is so that we have room for them, but yikes, I'm not sure if that's going to work out well. But for the meantime, let's go ahead and just fill in this spot, and if it becomes a problem later on, then uh, I'll try my best to fix it. So I don't like this gap, so we're gonna fill that and then put a little block there so it's all holding on again. The only problem I see with this now is that this is not connected. So you know what, maybe I need to actually delete this and uh, just put a two by four here. Okay, and boom, you know what? I don't even think I should put these. Just to save myself on some parts here, I'm just going to do the normal rounded two by four. And uh, yeah, that's actually looking really good. I like that. Now that we're at the back, let's add the little thrusters. And wow, is this thing coming together, man? Look at that. And these things kind of look like wings in the front. It's kind of funny. But now that I'm speaking of wings, I just want to say I'm really regretting this part. This seems like it's going to be very hard. I've never made swooped wings in this game, but uh, I'm sure many of you have. So first off, we're gonna need things to be able to be uh, kind of glitched in. So pistons are the best way to do that. Let's go ahead and do 0.45 again. I'm just completely guessing here. And uh, set that as the default. And then let's get a steering hinge and uh, also put it at 45, I guess. I'll go ahead and just take off the controls for now because if you look on both sides, I don't know why, but a mirror mode 
Everything's flipped. So now for the big wings, let's add the big wedge here. All right, cool. I got three of the big wedges. I'm actually gonna go for uh, this nice little wing here. These small flap wings are actually really good when it comes to uh, taking off. And also, once the wings are sweeped back, swept back, yeah, swept back. It's gonna be kind of hard to have a lot of lift because unfortunately, this thing is not gonna have that much thrust. So I'm thinking that uh, having these somewhat in the front, whenever I click the swoop button, these will you know, go down so I have somewhat more lift around the center of mass. But again, I, uh, I haven't built one of these yet, so or any form of a swooped wing airplane, so we're figuring this out, or I guess I'm figuring this out like all right now by myself so um you know leave a like for the hard work boys come on all right let's go ahead and add these guys on here also if you guys haven't done this before like added extra blocks behind your wings i highly recommend it if this is uh, going to be a fighter jet of yours when uh your craft gets shot these kind of just break off and then there's like you know then there's your wing. So it kind of gives you like an extra layer of uh, protection without really weighing you down. And also it just gives your uh, wing more shape. It's kind of weird seeing the end of the wing have a taper, but like only on some parts, like not like this. But yeah, anyways, that's just uh, my two cents when it comes to building in this game. But I'm gonna add a wedge here because I'm thinking that uh, once this is all kind of pulled in, this will be flush with uh, this little two by one and it will be really hard to see. So let's hope but uh, for some reason this is not connected and I actually see why. So let me go ahead and do a little flat connector piece here and boom, wow. Um, if this part gets shot, I mean, look at this. Everything is just gonna fly off, the whole wing. But anyways, let's move on. I'm gonna have to chuck some form of thrust in here. I might take this guy out and just fill it with thrusters. But other than that, I'm basically just gonna add some more thrusters just hidden amongst the inside of this thing. And then of course, paint it up, do a quick little test flight for you guys. And then we'll see where the pontoons are gonna fit on this guy. All right, I am so excited to show you guys this thing. The paint job really makes it look like the one from Top Gun. So anyways, if you guys look, you can see the paint job actually made it look like, well, exactly what I just said. A lot like the one from Top Gun. I think it looks sweet. Anyways, let's go ahead and line this thing up on the runway and uh, take off. I love the thrusters in the back. I added a little decal on the inside there. And uh, yeah, it just has a nice little flame kind of look to it. but. Man, I have not made an airplane in a minute and this thing flies so good. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and just see the top speed of this guy here. I'll go ahead and go on a straightaway. All right, and from the looks of it, it looks like it's around 185 to 182. I honestly couldn't even tell you. But yeah, this thing looks great, I think. <laughs> I think it flies great. But of course, let's go ahead and tuck the wings. Now, I have not really done any tests when it came to tucking the wings and seeing how fast it goes. But uh, 185 was this one. Let's go ahead and tuck the wings. Here we go. And you can see that the, the wings in the front there they look like there's holes in them, but basically the flaps come down and you can see that, uh, yeah, it's just, it gives us a lot of lift. Maybe even more lift than uh, the other way that's just normal flying with the wings not tucked. But you know what? Uh, surprisingly, this is a little bit slower. You'd think with the wings tucked there would be a lot less wind resistance, but I think due to the flaps being down, uh, well, that creates a lot more drag. You know, I'm so proud of this jet, but of course, uh, if you guys think it looks like poops, then, uh, leave a comment down below. Like I said at the beginning of the video, as I was building this thing, I have not made a aircraft with tux wing- tux wings? Tucked wings before. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This thing just, it, it works pretty good. I mean, there's not really any flaws when it comes to the folding, but of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but now we are moving on to the actual floaties on this thing. Oh boy, I was not looking where I was going. Okay, could we go through this loop really quick and open up the wings so we have a better... Yes, that was good. Okay, talk them again. Yeah, that is sick. Okay, anyways, we're flying over the water right now, and uh, as you can see, if I go ahead and just cut power here... Um, 
I know we crashed, but clearly this thing doesn't float. And clearly a lot of F-14s don't float. But not only did I build an F-14, but I'm going to make it float as I promised at the beginning of the video. This looks absolutely ridiculous, but honestly, I'm kind of like really hyped for this. So let's spawn in the water. Here we go. Let's see. Let's just see. Oh, you're joking. You are joking. Dude, there's no way that this is already working. Okay, well, because we have actually more lifts when uh, I fold the wings. Uh oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> because I have more lift, I'm going to just take off with them folded. So I don't have any yaw controls, unfortunately. Ooh. But apparently we're not going to need them. Well, 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 look who's finally back. Me. So all I did is flip these uh, thrusters I already had in here, just facing down. I know. Unfortunate. It's not a real working uh, plane, technically. And then uh, if you look right here, I have another one. I know. Sad. Very sad. Uh, <laughs> another thruster facing down. So we just have more lift. Technically. I could take off if I take off uh, these, like these floaties and uh, these ones in the back as well. But then like coming in for a landing, it's just horrible and not stable at all. But let's go ahead and get up to speed here. If you look, we are slowly uh, facing nose, nose in the, in the water. So I have to pull up just a little bit. Uh, how fast are we going? Let me, let me, let me get that speedometer up here. There we go. Okay. So, um, Around 80-ish miles an hour. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and try and take off. I'm gonna pull back. Oh, this is better. This is a lot better. Oh my gosh, man. We are so close. This is so unfortunate. Okay. Oh, come on. I gotta bob it. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Look at- Okay, let's build up some more speed here. This looks insane. Oh, bro. <sighs> Dang it. Look at how close this is. Bob. Bob. Now use the- Use the Q. Yes. 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 Come on. We're so close. We are so close. We are inches away from getting sucked out from the water. Come on, man. Yes. This is it. This is it. This is it right here. We are off. Oh my gosh. It's working. It's finally working. Jeez, dude. This is crazy. Wow. Okay. We have to tuck the wings. Uh, uh, we're almost 100 miles an hour. That's not too bad. So let's tuck the wings. There we go. Oh, dude, that's crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something's happening. Something when I tuck the wings is happening. The right wing seems to not be at the same angle as the left. Let's untuck the wings. Whoa, I shouldn't have done that as I was leaning back. That was not good. Okay, this is, this is flying good now. Let's tuck it again. Something is getting stuck. Oh, what's happening? Whoa. Oh, this is not any better. All right, boys, what do we do now? We, we are in the air. We, we got off the ground or water <laughs> finally, but I need to come in for a landing. Let's do a quick little uh, loop here in this very tight corner. Okay, there we go. That was good. Don't hit the pillar. Don't hit the pillar. Come on. Okay, and I'm gonna really just try and do the smoothest landing I possibly can. Of course, let's not hit the uh, carrier there. All right, here we go. Nice and smooth, boys. Oh, um, well, that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I think it's such a goofy idea to, uh, well, make an F-14 have floaties. <laughs> if you have any funny or unique ideas like this, make sure to leave a comment down below. As always, I hope you guys did enjoy the build. I'm actually really impressed with how this thing flies. I mean, not, not like this version, but the version that uh, doesn't have the floaties. But if you want to download it for yourself, you can go ahead and check the link in the the description and you can download it and play with it or um, fix it make it fly a lot better than what it is right now anyways that's it for me my name is little corn dogs and I will see you guys in the next one